to our channel. My name is Imani Alexander. Uh oh, uh -oh. and I'm Dexter Alexander, and we are the Alexanders. Alexanders. <laughs> we welcome you all back um, because before we were engaged. Um, I think you all seen the proposal video, and we went through an engagement season that quickly led to us getting married now. So yes. Now we're married and we're excited to get back some more content. So, uh, we've been married for maybe four months or so now and one thing has become very clear to us that we have to continue to date each other. Yes. Um, sometimes it's become clear in good ways because we want to and sometimes we haven't been doing it and we've seen the effects of not taking that intentional time. So let's get right into it. So first of all, it definitely expands our knowledge of each other. Um, I feel like dates allow us to do things that we haven't done before. Um, and so in doing that, we learn different parts of ourselves that are new yes. to each other. I agree, yes. That expanding piece is very much true. Um, you learn a lot of things about your person. You learn a lot about yourself. Um, the things that you all enjoy together and you know, grow together in liking and loving throughout the seasons. And like she said, we're a couple months in and you know, we have enjoyed a lot of creativity about our day nights and things she enjoyed and the things I enjoy also. Also, point two, <laughs> it keeps excitement um, in the relationship. It keeps that spark um, from when you weren't married and you know, you first met her, you know, that young lady who you were attracted to, my beloved wife here. Um, and it brings that spark back into, you know, your marriage of, you know, feeling like, man, I really want to pursue her again, or man, I really want to pursue my husband. And what was those things that really drawn me to that person, you know, to help me, you know, really want to be around them all the time. Honestly, it's very easy for things to become mundane and dull and routine. And so like, it's, it's, it's easier than, than I thought to get into that rut of just doing things and not being intentional and going through the motions. And so I feel like date nights allow us to bring some excitement to be kind of like a catalyst in the week for us to be able to spark things up. Um, and like he said, be reminded of why we fell in love in the first place. Yes. Also, it helps us um, to connect without distractions. There's literally a million and a thousand and one different things that pull us in different directions like all week long, I feel like. I'm sure you guys can say the same thing for your lives. Things just get busy. And so sometimes even though we live together now in the same house, we still aren't being intentional with each other, like taking quality time, one-on-one -on -one time, without looking at the phone or the TV or something else on social media. Like it's very hard to find that time. So date night is our accountability to make sure in this time, we're not talking to anyone else, we're not texting, calling, we're actually talking to each other. I'm taking that intentional time out to connect without distractions and it it's so rich when we do that. So many things are able to be talked about, we'll be able to be present, uncover new stuff to discuss and discover, release new things because it's such a good environment. I love that part about it. It does, again, you know, just bring that richness mm -hmm. back into things when you're able to just block out the distractions, you know, take your mind off of work mm -hmm. or whatever things that you just have in your mind and you get to release you know, and bring in the fun again and the excitement and just the things that y'all enjoy. You know, in the presence of each other and bringing God in the moment. You know, it's always important to just allow God in those moments with you because he's always trying to speak to your marriage because, you know, that is called and ordained by God. One of our favorite um, is being able to grow in that spiritual intimacy. Um, just really building that bond with one another to just show the other person that love that God desires for you all to show each other, you know. And that intimacy is a whole nother level when you're able to tap into it one-on-one, -on -one, then those distractions go. It's just all the things that of the world that don't matter in that moment, but you and your person. So much love, compassion, empathy, fun, um, just all the great things, you know, God has produced for us to enjoy um, from marriage. Here we are with two things that yes. are great. We're so, no, seriously, so these are a little, <laughs> I'm sure you guys have these little popsicle sticks if you're doing like dates and stuff. And so when we were engaged, we used these to just draw a stick each week and do something. And we, we just came up with a list. I think how we did it was like things that you wanted to do, yep. things that I liked, and then we had some mutuals. Yep. And we put them all in the pot, we put them in there, and we drew a stick each week, and that's how we did our date night. But now, thanks to our grandparents, Umi and Papa, who yeah. gifted us this great book. Hello, Umi and Papa, we know you're watching. We love you so much. 
They got us this book, 52 Uncommon Dates by Gary Chapman. It's the same one who wrote The Five Love Languages. And there's literally a date for every week of the year. It is so intentional. Like it gives you so prayers intense. to pray, verses to meditate on, ways to make it rich. And all these dates are like not very expensive, but they're really fun. Yeah. And just make sure you all, you know, make that time. I think that's the yeah. biggest piece. Prioritize that time together. Come up with something that works for you and your partner. Mm -hmm. um, of like, hey, we're going to do it weekly. You know, if you can't do it weekly, we're going to do it every other week. Or if you can't do it, we're going to do it monthly. But you got to, you know, sit down and carve out that time mm -hmm. to make that a priority. And that's easy for us to say right now because we just got married. We'll have a kid. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll change over time. But just, you know, an encouragement to any older couple who is watching has been married a little while. If you're wondering, hey, should we get back to that? Yes. Yes. Speaking as the younger version of you. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, anyone who's looking for marriage or even courting right now and dating, engaged, Definitely it matters, even if it doesn't feel like it matters. Sometimes it feels like routine, um, but it does pay off. But now you guys can enjoy the vlog of our paint night, this little date that we are going to do tomorrow. So here goes Future Us painting for our date night. We're finally doing our date night, our paint night. Yes. Yes, oh the hand, the hands. It's about to go down. Heard me. Y'all yes. have gotten to see the fun photos that we have on our campus from Brie and Alvin, our mentors. Thank you again Thank you for blessing us. And uh, we about to get into it. Yeah. Yes, we are. So enjoy this little time lapse, some little music. Hopefully they come out good because if they don't, we're still gonna keep them. But see you guys.